Hey, it's Kristen, your high performance health mentor here today to continue our series on the top mistakes. I see busy professional women and men making that increase stress, exhaustion, pain, and belly bloat. And here's something that y'all do that you probably don't even know. I don't know how I was just trying to say y'all, but I said you all, but anyway, so here's something that you do all the time that you probably don't even know you're doing that increases your stress like crazy pants. And that is, you are a major chest breather. That means you breathe like this all the time. <sighs> now you'll know if you're a chest breather, now that I'm bringing this to your attention, because you get really tight shoulders and a super tight neck. And you feel a little bit anxious a lot of the time, okay? Maybe you're wound up about finances, about what you've got going on at work, you're trying to grow your career, you've got a lot going on. So here is an amazing tip to reduce stress instantly, start to focus on your breathing. Now this is awesome because this doesn't have to take a lot of time out of your day. And when you focus on breathing with the right muscles, which are lower in the abdomen area, you actually reduce stress, you enhance your digestion, okay, your body's able to break foods down faster, your waistline leans out and your metabolism goes up. And I can tell you that I was on the phone with a client yesterday and we were looking at her food journal and what I do when I work with clients, when I work more closely with them, is I actually assess their metabolism. We do these temperature and heart rate measurements to make sure that the foods that they're eating and the things that they're doing in their life are amping up their metabolism because when you have a higher metabolism, obviously, um, you know, you get rid of extra weight faster, you're more energized and you just feel like a million bucks. So. It was so interesting because with her, by simply integrating a very fast, deep breathing uh, routine, so basically she wakes up and she takes five deep breaths and then she does the same before she eats meals, her metabolism increased astronomically. I mean, like it was nuts to look at the measurements, you know, on the days where she didn't do it versus the days that she did do it. So I can tell you that this is a really, really powerful tip and a very powerful technique. Okay. So what is it? You're ready to know. So here is what you're going to do in order to incorporate some deep breathing into your life. The only thing that you're going to do is this, and I'm going to show you with a side view. You're going to breathe in through your nose. You're going to breathe out through your mouth. When you breathe in through your nose, you wanna picture filling up your pelvis and your abdomen with air, okay? So you're gonna actually push your stomach forward as you breathe in, not suck in like that, like you probably always do. And I'm, I'm generalizing here, but this is what I see all the time. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's true for you too. All right, so you're gonna put your hands right on your stomach like this, and you're gonna breathe in like this. All right, so you put your hands on your stomach, you breathe into your hands, you push your stomach forward, you feel your fingers opening because your stomach is pushing forward, and then you breathe out through your mouth. Now, if you wanna take this a step further, you can do uh, what we call body wave breathing, where you breathe in through your belly, rib cage, and then chest is the last thing to rise. But I always think it's best to focus on the belly first because so many people miss that part of a breath. And those are the muscles that are supposed to be helping you breathe. Now, when you start breathing up here, you signal to your brain that you are under stress, you are ancient, uh, ancient. <laughs> You are anxious, you are running from a bear and it's no bueno. Okay, so breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now to take this up another notch, what you can do is breathe in through your nose for two, breathe out through your mouth for four because the more you're getting carbon dioxide out of your body, the more you're getting out, you know, the things that you want to let go of, the things that you don't want to hold on to for your energy buffs, <laughs> for you energy buffs out there. And it's just very calming to the system. Okay. So in through the nose, out through the mouth, breathe through the belly, make sure it goes forward when you breathe in, not sucks in. 
okay? Very stressful on the body when you don't do this right. And again, you can incorporate it all the time. You're on the phone with your with your boss. You know, do some deep breaths. <laughs> it will help you focus in on what you want to say so you say it well. Hey, Millie, how are you? So nice to see you on our video. If you have any questions about breathing and stress reduction, please let me know because that's what we're covering right now. Hope you are doing amazing. Um, yeah, love having you guys on my live video. It's so much more fun when I have people here to interact with me. Um, but yeah, so when you're breathing in through your belly, you actually release a lot of toxins from your system. You release a lot of the stuff that you need to um, let go of, okay? Because remember that, and a lot of people ask me about you know breathing and how it really relates with weight loss. Oh, thank you for sharing, that's awesome. Um, and you know, my big theory on weight gain is that it is simply a stress response, okay, an inflammatory response to things in your life, things in your body, you know, maybe it's your nutrition, maybe it's your thought process, maybe it's the things that are stressing you out. All these things that you're holding on to that your body doesn't like, it gets inflamed, it needs to let go of them, okay? So really, really make sure that when you're practicing your breathing process, you are thinking about letting go of the stuff that you don't want in your body anymore, that stuff that you don't want in your life anymore. I know this might be a little bit woo-woo, but you know, every little bit counts, right? Every little bit helps. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me, Millie. I absolutely appreciate you sharing. Um, you guys, integrate this into your day. You will not regret it. I swear my clients, they receive so many benefits just from focusing on breathing. Oh, and plus your stamina increases without going to the gym. How cool is that? <laughs> I forgot to mention that. That's another really cool benefit. Your stamina actually gets better just from practicing deep breathing. And I can tell you this really quick story. Um, I have a friend and he is an avid mountain biker. He absolutely loves it. But he has an office job so he can't go as much as he wants. But his friends go all the time. They don't have office jobs, they're trainers. And here is the crazy pants thing. Because he practices deep breathing all the time, his stamina when he's up on the mountain with those guys is so much better. His stamina far outruns the other guys just because he practices deep breathing. And yes, Millie, it absolutely works for weight loss. I can't tell you how many clients I work with that um, are so, they have so much stress in their lives. And when you have stress in your life, it makes you hold on to extra body fat. And there's a number of different reasons that that happens, but um, I've seen it all the time. And I can tell you that even last April, I had a really high metabolism uh, for a couple of years. I've worked very closely under a metabolism coach. And then last April, I had a lot of stress in my life. I wasn't feeling happy. Oh, thanks for the hearts. Wasn't feeling happy. I was feeling depressed. And um, my metabolism totally went down until I got my stress um, in check. One of the ways I did that was by incorporating a deep breathing practice, okay? And it really didn't take that long. Um, you can do it while you're walking. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll breathe in for two steps while I'm walking, I'll breathe out for four steps. So yeah, and it absolutely helped my metabolism started going back up again, and it really helped my stress start to reduce. So yes, I always recommend this for um, people who are looking to lose weight, people who are looking to decrease stress, feel more energized. It's amazing how fast it works. And you heard, I don't know if you were on earlier when I was talking about my client, um, we were on the phone yesterday and we were looking at her metabolic measurements and it was amazing to both of us how much better her body did after incorporating a deep breathing practices. On the days that she did it, her metabolism went up. On the day she didn't do it, her metabolism went down. It was nuts. And I saw the measurements right on her food journal. So I'm telling you, it's so effective. You know, do it now, integrate it now. You will not be disappointed. So I am, so yeah, absolutely will work for weight loss. I know that was a, I've been all over the place. That's the thing with Facebook Lives. It's very hard to say. <laughs> At least we're staying on one subject today, which is amazing. And then, yeah, I was I was actually out to dinner with my friends last night, and they were talking about how they wanted to go and climb Machu Picchu. That's a goal of mine as well. And I said, you know what? The best way that I'm going to prepare my body when I do that, that's right, girl, mm-hmm, get those, flex those muscles, um, 
when I do that is um, I'm going to be practicing deep breathing. I'm going to be practicing um, a lot of types of deep breathing so that I have the stamina to get up that mountain and do that four day trek, which I'm really excited about doing one day. All right, I think that's enough for me. Um, by the way, if you all have any questions about you know, breath practice or stress reduction, or you're looking to lose weight, you're looking to feel more energized, I would absolutely love to help you out with this. Leave me a comment below. Say that you wanna get in touch. If you wanna get in touch with me, I'll go ahead and send you a link, a private link to my fitness assessment. And in this fitness assessment, it's going to show you all of the areas, all of the key areas that you need to focus on in order to make your body healthier. Because when your body is healthier, that's when the weight loss happens, okay? But it takes some time. you got to develop that health. You have to develop that internal, oh, girl, I will send it to you. Don't you worry. Right after this, I'm going to send it private to, privately, privately to you. Um, you have to make sure that you are um, taking care of yourself. Big hug to you too. <laughs> um, you have to make sure that you are taking care of yourself, taking care of your health. And when you're healthy enough, that's when um, your body, it becomes just so much lighter, right? So much lighter physically and mentally and all these good things that you want. Um, so yeah, just leave me a comment. Even if you are not watching this live video, Leave me a comment below. I will send you the link um, personally myself, and then you can get in there and, and look at the areas that maybe you're falling short on, okay, that are causing you to hold on to more weight than you want. All right, this is Kristen signing off. You guys have a fantastic Saturday. Thank you for joining. And I will see you very soon. Bye.